This week, orcas made headlines for two wildly different reasons. First, a rare sighting of Old Tom, the lone male orca off the coast of Massachusetts. No pod, just a solitary giant cruising through the Atlantic, mesmerizing everyone lucky enough to spot him. And then, a viral video claiming to show an orca killing a trainer named Jessica Radcliffe during a live show. Shocking, right? Except, it was a complete hoax. No Jessica Radcliffe, no attack, no Pacific Blue Marine Park. It was AI-generated clickbait. So today, we're scrapping the fakes and diving into the real strength of orcas, and the truth will blow your mind more than any viral video ever could. Orcas are giants of the deep. Males can grow up to 32 feet long, about the length of a school bus, and weigh over six tons. That's three SUVs, floating and fully alive. In short bursts, they can hit 34 miles per hour. In water, that's like a race car in molasses. Because water is 800 times denser than air, to move that fast, they're generating more raw power than a galloping racehorse. Their bite force is estimated at 19,000 pounds per square inch. Imagine balancing three African elephants on a postage stamp. That's the kind of pressure they can deliver in a single bite. Orcas don't just use brute force, they weaponize it. In Antarctica, they create massive waves to wash seals off ice flows, a tactic called wave washing. One tail slap can hit with the force of a 30 mile per hour car crash, enough to launch a 300 pound seal high into the air. They've been recorded ramming prey hard enough to stun dolphins instantly. And in some parts of the world, they've hunted blue whale calves, the largest animal to ever live, by working together like a pack of wolves. Orcas have been seen taking down great white sharks by flipping them into tonic immobility, a kind of predator judo move. In rare cases, they've even been known to prey on moose swimming between islands in Canada. If it swims, there's a good chance an orca has thought about eating it. The caudal peduncle, the muscular base of the tail, is like a natural engine. Every kick delivers thousands of pounds of thrust. And their strength isn't just physical, it's acoustic. Orcas use powerful echolocation clicks, so intense they can stun fish, like a sonic flashbang grenade in the ocean. Strength alone makes a predator, but orcas combine it with intelligence. They hunt in pods, communicate with their own dialects, and pass down hunting techniques through generations. Each calf doesn't just inherit muscle, it inherits centuries of strategy. Quick myth check, orcas aren't called killer whales because they kill human. As the name came from old sailors who saw them hunting other whales and called them whale killers, over time the words just flipped. Strength only matters in context, so let's put the orca up against some of the planet's toughest animals and see how it stacks up. First, the great white shark. In nature's version of martial arts, orcas have been documented flipping sharks onto their backs, putting them into something called tonic immobility. It's like pressing the off swing. Then they target the liver with surgical precision. One on one, a great white is a deadly ambush predator. But an orca pod, with teamwork and brains, wins almost every time. Next, the sperm whale. Adult males are much bigger than an orca and can weigh over 50 tons. They defend themselves with a marguerite formation. Heads in, tails out. A living spiked wall. An adult group can keep orcas at bay, but calves or weak individuals are a different story. In those cases, the orca's persistence pays off. Now, the blue whale calf, the largest baby on Earth. Pods have been seen harassing the adults, separating the calf and exhausting it before moving in. Against the ocean's ultimate heavyweight rookie, the orca's teamwork is overwhelming. How about a polar bear? On land, the bear is king, but in the water, it's a different arena. Orcas have the speed, the mass and the maneuverability to outmatch a bear long before it gets close. 
Then there's the saltwater crocodile, a living tank with one of the most powerful bites in the animal kingdom. In shallow water, the croc has the edge, but in open ocean, the orca's speed and ramming force would be decisive. It's all about the battlefield. And finally, the elephant. Both can weigh several tons, but an elephant's muscles are built for land. An orca's tail, the caudal peduncle, can generate explosive thrust in a dense, heavy medium where land animals simply can't compete. It's a reminder that strength is always specialized. So forget the hoaxes and Hollywood. Picture this. A living torpedo the size of a bus, moving faster than an Olympic swimmer in a speedboat with a bite that could crush steel. Add the intelligence to plan your capture before you even knew it was there. That's the orca. Not a myth, not a monster, but the ocean's ultimate enforcer. Now here's my challenge. What animal do you think could match an orca's strength? Drop your answer in the comments and we might break it down in our next video.